And welcome back to another episode of Ad Astra. Where today, uh, we're going to build the final tier of rocket. We're going to build the jet suit, and we've got two more planets to have a little bit of an explore around. Um, I don't know if we'll get to both today, but we'll certainly have a little bit of a look. Uh, so I think, yes, my inventory is a mess, but I think um, we are getting close. That's not copper. We're getting close to crafting this final tier of rocket. Um, this just needs these. And this is the last piece we need for the tier four rocket. So managed to get a whole bunch of calorite from that uh, mining trip on Venus. It was actually quite easy to get this amount. We've got like heaps and heaps left. Um, so that's pretty cool. But there is our tier four rocket. The sky's the limit. Uh, we'll plonk this here and that, yeah, that looks cool. Um, I don't know where we're going to put this other one. I guess for now you're going to, you're going to live here. You're definitely the least impressive. And I guess it kind of makes sense to have them something like this. I uh, don't know what we're doing with you. That's neat. That's cool. But uh, I think we should also have um, the bits and pieces needed to upgrade our jet suit. Now there's a slight downside to doing this. Um, when we craft this, we are going to lose our enchantments, um, which is a bit of a pain. It's kind of, it did take me a while to get these. I think we've actually got enough mending books to probably put mending on everything. We do get a bonus, like extra armor and extra armor toughness and some more knockback resistance. And we're going to get flight. So it feels bad. <laughs> feels bad. But I think it's going to be worth it. Um, and it's actually quite annoying having to <laughs> having to do this. And then that goes, that goes there. Oh, that had. And you don't accept... Ah, oh, because that's not what goes there. That goes there. Nice. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit disappointing that we lose our enchants, but um, that's okay. That's okay. I think the jet suit's going to be worth it. Um, flight's going to be quite nice. Uh, and yeah, we've even got some some spare stuff. So we're going to have to get a... Yeah. Nice. We're going to have to get some way of charging this. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty nifty spacesuit. And yeah, the backpack kind of glitches through it a little bit, although in a kind of not bad way, actually. It's actually okay. Uh, speaking of upgrades, we also want to upgrade our diamond paxel to netherite. Um, just in case, I'm going to take these upgrades out. I don't know if it would have had an impact or not, but better safe than sorry. Why is this not how we make a netherite? Oh, I was on the anvil. That explains everything. That explains everything. There we go. Netherite Paxel. So that should be, it's a bit of extra damage, a bit of extra durability. I will also wouldn't mind. I don't know, I've got one somewhere. It'd be good to have an actual netherite sword. Um, now, I mean, it's not really an enchant we want. Don't really have the experience for getting enchants on it yet. So maybe we'll hold off. Because I don't think it's going to be worth it without the enchants. But neat. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to want to charge this up. So that does mean um, we actually want to be looking at the uses for this. Is it this thing that makes the charger? No, it must be Ostrom. Cryo freezer, I mean, we should get that anyway. And energizer, that's what we want. And that shouldn't be too bad. We've got a decent, we've got heaps of Ostrom. Um, we might want some more Ostrom plates. We need two, six, 10, 11. Yeah. So this should get us a cryo freezer. Nice. And then an energizer, we're missing some of those plates and we have plenty of diamonds now. Um, Cause there's actually quite a few of them on Venus as well. 
Just waiting on a couple of these to get pressed. Uh, I guess we could set up our cryo freezer. We're kind of running out of room here. Um, I'll set it up a little bit janky. Um, I think I want to, well, I know I want to make a space station somewhere. I'm not quite sure where we want to make the space station. Actually, we can get rid of this. Um, we'll take that fuel. But that doesn't need to go there. And we'll chuck in this cryo freezer. You'll start charging up. And then we can use like these ice shards that I've got sitting over here. And it's going to start making cryo fuel. It's a little bit slow. And apparently this fuel lasts a lot longer. So I guess we'll let some of that build up. We've got a whole bunch of this regular fuel left to use up first, which we may as well do. But I'm actually kind of keen to see this energizer. You're going to live here for now. Let's stop making plates because we're going to be pretty low on power. Did that just take my armor? No, my armor's in there. So we can charge that up there. I don't think this will... Oh, jetpack works just automatically. Okay. I don't think this just charges up if you're standing here. It doesn't. That would be cool. But we'll let him charge up. We can't really see what... The Energizer's doing. Uh, yeah, this holds a lot, so we'll probably let him charge up before we head off, but... Uh, that's pretty neat. That didn't last very long, though. <laughs> that did not last very long. We'd almost want, like, a couple of these. Make it some more solar panels. Charge this up, and then, hey, let's go exploring. All right, nearly half charged. 46%. Let's do this. Let's go see what Mercury is like. I think we're good to go. Just don't push shift and stop recording. Never push shift. So the second last planet for us to look at. We still haven't checked out orbit either. I don't know what happens if you just take a rocket to orbit. Maybe we'll do that with our small rocket. Just to see what happens. All right, here we go. Quite the suntan. Uh, let's make sure we can see the ground approaching and uh, nice looks kind of lavery and magma cubes. All right, all right, sweet. So from looking in JEI, um, I was able to see that there's only really iron on this planet uh, as far as we could see which might not be the case uh, and i just set a waystone here oh what not a waystone a waypoint and um, just so i can find that launch pad we do have a spare one but we might as well take the one we've got so i'm suspecting there'll be quite a bit of iron here um, now, something I didn't notice with our other spacesuit, and this one, is that we can actually swim in lava. Which is kind of neat. And we don't have to worry about that. It doesn't seem to use our durability either. So if we just have to deal with magma cubes, that's actually not too bad. I guess we won't be getting the magma creams if we're uh, fighting the mobile lava. But okay. Okay. So there's definitely something down here. Let's cave zone. Let's have a little bit of a look around on the surface. Um, unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to use the rover, I don't think. Um, looks a little bit lavery. 
I mean, we don't really need iron. I don't know why I'm mining that. Well, it does kind of seem pretty desolate. <laughs> uh, which I guess makes sense for Mercury. Uh, yeah, it would be actually kind of cool to build a base here. Um, like an evil looking base. Uh, could be quite fun on a server too. But uh, I don't think we're going to bother doing that today. Just heading back to the back to the launch area. Yeah, I haven't really seen anything aside from kind of what we've already encountered. Uh, it is night time now. So we might start to see some different mobs spawn, maybe. I don't know if there's any other mobs up here. Although there's not many dark areas for them to spawn. Um, but I guess when we go have a look underground, uh, we might come across some more. Now, if I just keep heading in this direction, we'll get there eventually. Well, we're down on the bottom of Mercury, and all I've seen so far is iron ore. Um, so yeah, I don't think... I mean, there could still be something hidden around this planet. I haven't thoroughly explored it. But it does kind of seem like it's mostly lava. Mostly lava and magma cubes. Which I guess if you're wanting to get some magma cream, this is not a bad planet to visit. I still think it would be cool to build a base here. Um, we're not going to do that today, but it would be cool. Uh, so we might actually just head back and let's go check out Glacio and see what that planet has in store for us. All right, let's go and check out. Um, take my vision off. Let's go and check out. I just realized how cool the bottom of that rocket looks. It's quite a bit different to those ones. Uh, let's go and check out. And uh, I guess we start using up this fuel and get some buckets back. Let's go check out. Glacio. Now this planet should be kind of interesting. Um, I've done a little bit of reading so I know it's a little bit different to the other planets we've visited. Um, and I guess we're going to see that. Uh, sure. It's quite fun uh, flying to all the different planets uh, in the rocket. Better than using a waystone. Right, so there's nothing new in our solar system for us to visit. We can't go to like Neptune or Uranus or Jupiter or anything. I mean, Jupiter makes sense. Uh, but we can go to Proxima Centauri. Or Centauri, 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 Centauri. And we can go visit Glacio, which needs a tier 4 rocket. So this planet has oxygen, which is quite nice. And so I think... I think we can survive without a spacesuit. <laughs> we got the achievement interstellar. Neat. And uh okay, yeah, this is pretty pretty snowy looking. And there's some mobs. Alright, so first first experiment. Oh there we go, that's why I couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't break that. Wow, that's neat. I think I know... Is that the sun? Why is it purple? Alright, cool. I think I know which planet I want to build the space station above. And it is this one. Um, I think we can survive... We could survive without a spacesuit. Which is kind of neat. Um, I mean, we'll keep it on because it's our armor. We have Glacian Rams. Can we share them? <laughs> we totally can. Glacian fur, and that's used for uh, just making paintings. Okay. Not even rig of the wool. That's interesting. Ah, that's still kind of cool. That's still kind of cool. Um. Yeah. Okay, and do these things fight back if we attack them? No. Do they drop any food? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Interesting. So you probably couldn't actually survive on this planet just off <laughs> just off the 
sheep or the rams that are here. No, it didn't look like that. Alright, that's enough uh, murdering the local wildlife. That's a cool... It looks like a planet, but it must be the sun. Oh, I never marked the landing site. Whoops. I should go and put down a launch pad. Did I bring on our last one? So, looking on the surface, it kind of just looks like snow. But I guess we will create a waypoint. Hide that for now. Um, let's take the rover for a spin and uh, see what we can come across. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. I see what's happening. Oh, right. <laughs> Why can't I mine that? Oh, I think... There's our rover. Okay. Uh, that's uh, something I hadn't considered. There's that falling, what is it? The, the snow that you fall through. That's going to be something we have to watch out for. Got some ice spikes. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I'll have a bit of an explore around. Uh, it's going to be night time. Oh, that's not. That's a planet. Okay, I thought that was the sun. Uh, I have a bit of an explore around, see if we come across anything else. And see if anything spawns at night. Uh, seems like it's just these guys spawning up here. Um, so I guess we'll do the same thing we did before. Head back to the landing site. Uh... Had a couple of uh, close calls with the rover. They're getting stuck in those areas. I'm almost getting good at spotting them. Uh, but everything is very white. And I guess we'll have a look underground. Because I did spy in JEI or REI in this case. Uh, there are trees on this planet somewhere. So... I wonder if they're underground, or if I just haven't happened to come across the area on the planet that, that they live, but uh, that is cool. That big purple planet thing in the sky. So yeah, I think this would be a cool planet to build a space station above. Ah, here we go. Deep Slate Ore, and I wonder if this is where all these other Deep Slate Ores, like the Calorite? Is it Calorite? I think it's Calorite. I wonder if this is where the Deep Slate Calorite ore comes from. Because so I have noticed there are Deep Slate versions of some of the ores, and I wasn't sure where they lived. I've got glow lichen. I wonder. I mean, so far it actually doesn't look like it, but... <laughs> You never know, you never know. It would make sense. You know what, I don't think that is the case. Oh, we've got an amethyst. Neat. Um, this, this isn't dangerous at all. Yeah, no, it's just a standard amethyst. Alright. Cool. Uh, haven't come across any trees yet, so I'm not quite sure where they live. Alright, so having a little bit of a look on uh, the Discord, I don't think... Actually, yeah, I don't think a pickaxe is going to last long enough to get to the surface. I don't think Glacio is quite finished yet. So I don't know that we can actually get those trees, or if there's a biome with those trees. Uh, so we will come back to this planet uh, when there's a new version that comes out. And that's kind of what I plan on doing for 
any other versions of Ad Astra that come out if there's something new to check out we'll come back and do an episode uh, but I think we will head back and yeah I think we've, we've kind of explored what there is to explore at the very moment um, which is neat I might try and save my pickaxe and just mine like this uh, but we still have a space station to build and time to leave Glacio Definitely the coolest skybox. Definitely the coolest skybox we've seen so far. Nice. But alright. Um, we've kind of, yeah, we've explored every planet. Uh, I definitely don't think we've found everything there is to find. Um, there's still the, the moon dungeons. I think they're the only dungeons that are finished at the moment. Um, we have, of course, the Venus, kind of hoglin, piglin, but they're called something else, uh, cities we could go and raid to get things like ancient debris, um, which would be nice with our new jet suit. But, um, yeah, we've kind of... That's risky about the animals. We've kind of explored a lot of what there is to explore. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't finish off our trophy room just yet because uh, there are no other dungeons to get these from. But that's cool. Uh, yeah. I think we'll leave that there. Well, we might have visited all the planets there are to visit, uh, but there's still something left to do, and that is build ourselves a space station. And we'll do that next episode. I'm looking forward to it. I want to make it like self-sufficient that we could just live up there if we wanted to. Um, so that should be kind of cool. But that's next episode. Thanks for watching this one. All right, we'll come back next time for some more Ed Astra. See ya.